Canada is uh, in the lucky position of having a huge amount of data on air quality and water quality and, and temperature histories and, and all sorts of things like that. The problem is most of that data is inaccessible to the public. So when we had a discussion in Ontario, for instance, should we close the coal-fired power plants? Well, that whole discussion centered on what's happening to our air quality in southern Ontario. And people were making all kinds of crazy claims about it getting worse and worse and pollution levels are, are sending millions of people to their, an early grave. And one of the difficulties was, for those of us who study this issue, I knew that we actually have reduced air pollution quite a bit since the 1970s. That anyone who looks at the numbers would know that air quality has improved quite a bit. There's no upward trend here that we need to radically change the electricity system to deal with. But um, because the numbers are held in this server in a, a federal government database that uh, you have to be a computer programmer to access, um, you couldn't get those kinds of numbers out into the public discussion. So what I've done is I've created a website, it's called yourenvironment.ca. Uh, the numbers are all there, it's all um, data that's been collected by the provinces and the federal government uh, to measure air quality, uh, Environment Canada temperature records, um, provincial water quality records, I'm getting those online as well. And it's set up on a community basis. So for hundreds and hundreds of communities across the country, you can just point and click, two or three clicks of the mouse is all it would take, and you'll be seeing the complete record of your community's environment over the past decades, or, or in the case of temperatures, back to the year 1900.